You have worked to write two story problems. Next, you will work to solve some story problems. You should have your Bridges student workbook out and turn to page 163. You also still need your notebook to be able to solve these problems. We are going to solve two problems together and then you will work to solve the rest on your own by reading the problem, taking notes about the problem, showing your work, and solving the problem. Let's look in your notebook on the page that you titled More Story Problems. You have already written one, two story problems. If you still have room on this page, skip a line and write number three. If you need to turn to the next blank page, you can and write number three in the margin. Let's look at our workbook at problem number three. It says, Miss Rowan has six tables in her classroom and 24 students. If she divides the students evenly among the tables, how many students will sit at each table? What do we know? We know that Miss Rowan has six tables. Instead of writing the whole thing that we know, we're just going to write six tables. Go ahead and write that in your notebook beside number three. One thing we know is that there are six tables. What else do we know? There are 24 students. So on the next line, go ahead and write 24 students. If you need to pause the video to be able to make your work look like mine in your notebook, you can and then push play whenever you're ready. The question asks, if she divides the students evenly among the tables, how many students will sit at each table? Instead of writing the whole question, let's write it in a short version. Let's write number of students at each table with a question mark. This is a symbol for number, number of students at each table. This is the question, what we need to find out. So I have the question mark. I also noticed in the story problem, it says she divides them evenly. So I'm going to write that here too, to help me know that the same amount of students need to be at each table. What equation will help us solve this problem? There are 24 students total, and she's trying to divide them into how many groups? Six groups, six tables. So 24 divided by six equals, the question is how many students at each table? Let's draw a model to help us. We said that there are six tables. So let's go ahead and draw six loops for six tables. And then there are 24 students. We need to divide these students into the six tables. We could put one student at a table at a time, but that might take a little bit longer than if we put two students at a table. Let's go ahead and draw two circles in each loop or at each table and see how many we have after that. So we have two students, four, six, eight, 10, 12. But we said that there's 24 students total. And so far we've only put 12 students at tables. Let's go ahead and add one more student to each table. So far we have 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. But remember there's 24 students. 
Let's see what happens when we add one more student to each table. So far there are 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Nice work. That is 24 students. We divided 24 students into six tables. How many students are at each table? There are four students at each table. Yes. Is there a related fact that can help us check our work using these same numbers? What if we multiply six times four? Does six times four equal 24? Yes, it does. And we can also see our model down here shows six loops with four in each one. Six times four equals 24. Did we answer the question? Number of students at each table? Four students. Yes, great work. Next, we will do problem number four. As you can tell on my page, I have run out of room. So I'm going to turn to the next page to work through problem number four. If you still have room, you can skip a line and write number four in the margin. If not, you can turn to the next page and write number four in the margin. Let's look at our workbook at problem number four. It says, Teresa has 24 stickers in her sticker book. Each page holds six stickers. How many pages does her sticker book have? What do we know? We know that she has 24 stickers. Let's write it down. By number four, 24 stickers. What else do we know? Each page holds six stickers. So each page has six stickers. Let's write that down too. The question asks, how many pages does her st sticker book have? So what do we want to know? We want to know the number of pages. How many pages are in her sticker book? Let's use a model. We said that each page has six stickers. So what if we draw a loop or a rectangle for a page and it has a six on it for six stickers? In this problem, we already know how much is in each group. So I could write the number or I could go ahead and write six dots. Six plus six, because I know that one page is not enough to have 24 six stickers. What about six plus six? How much is that? 12, still not enough. What about another page with six stickers? What is six plus six plus six? 18, yes, but we said there are 24 stickers total. Let's add another page with six stickers. 18 plus six equals 24. And that's how many stickers she has in all. What is an equation we could write to match this story problem? Teresa has 24 stickers. She's dividing them into groups of six. So 24, divided by six. How many pages are there? One, two, three, four pages. 24 divided by six equals four pages. Can we check our work with a related fact? Six times four equals 24. Because again, we have a model that is similar to loops and groups. It has one, two, three, four pages and they each have six on them. Or repeated addition, six plus six plus six plus six equals 24. So six times four equals 24. How many pages does her sticker book have? 
four pages. Nice work examining the problem, taking notes of what you know, what you need to know, using a model to help you, and then writing equations to help you solve it. You are going to do the same thing for the rest of page 163 and for one problem on page 164. You are going to continue doing the same things for number five, six, seven, and eight. If you also want to solve number nine and 10, you can. But on numbers five through eight, examine the problem, write what you know, what you want to know, and take your time showing your work nice and neatly in your notebook. Take your time, do your best, you got this.